Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. Today I'm going to talk about an introduction to biomedical instrumentation. I'm Professor Natalie Medina and here's my email for future reference. Let's begin with uh, the definition of biomedical instrumentation. What is it? Um, biomedical instrumentation in engineering is the application of knowledge and technologies to solve problems related to living biological systems, such humans. Um, it may involve uh, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease in humans. Uh, we use the term bio to denote something related to life. So when the discipline of engineering and medicine interacts, it is called biomedical engineering. So, what is biomedical uh, instrumentation? I must say that it's a type of measurement of biological signals such heart rhythm, uh, muscle vibrations, or any electrical signals generated in the human body. Let's say the brain signals, for instance. So, any medical instrument consists of the following function. Uh, functional basic parts. Let me let me introduce the first one. The first one is called energy sources. Sometimes uh, we will need to measure um, as an energy source. This energy source comes from sometimes from electrical signals. Sometimes there is light, infrared signals, mechanical vibrations, for instance, or ultrasound. Then we will need to have a measurement method. The measurement is the physical quantity and the instrumentation systems measure it. Mm, I must say that human body acts as a source for measurement and it generates biosignals. Remember, bio denotes something related to life. So biosignals is just a signal uh, that comes from any biological system, such the human body. Uh, for, for a recorder, we need a sensor or a transducer. Uh, the transducer converts one form of energy to another form, usually electrical energy. For example, the piezoelectric signal, which converts mechanical vibrations into electrical signals. This is a type of a sensor. And sometimes we need these types of sensors in human bodies. Uh, sometimes sensors must be calibrated before use them. So be careful by uh, trying to see the electrical specifications in, located in the data sheet of the sensor that you're going to use. Then we need a signal conditioner. Signal conditional circuits are used to convert the output from the transducer into an electrical value. Uh, the instrument uh, system sends this quantity to a specific application. Um, and applications, uh, well, we have several applications that we can use by a biomedical instrumentation. First one, uh, first of all, display. It is used to provide a visual representation for the user of the measured parameter quantity. Uh, let's say a chart recorder, an electrocardiogram, or an electroencephalogram, or something like that, used for display. Um, sometimes we have applications in data storage. Uh, this used to store the data in probably can be used for future reference. Sometimes we use data transmission as application because it is used in telemetric systems where data can be transmitted from one location to another remotely. Uh, let's say we want to um, design a wearable system. And data recording, well, uh, again, uh, data recording will is similar to data storage, but uh, we use this type of data for future reference. And alarms, we can use uh, a, the biomedical instrumentation system for triggering 
an alarm just to see if, if some events are abnormal so we can prevent some diseases or injuries on, or something like that. So a brief summary of what is biomedical instrumentation. I must say that this is a measurement of biological signals, such the uh, ECGs, which is the electrocardio uh, signals, EMG, which are the related to um, electromyological signals, uh, such the muscles and the muscles movements. Uh, EEG, for instance, the electrical uh, signals come, uh, come from the brain, or any electrical system, uh, signals generated by in the human body. Well, that's all for all. Thank you for watching.